it is the most imperative thing to have regional teams playing at the highest level. When you consider the two opposing leagues came together to make one team, it shows what can be done when people really want to do it. Three to four on the start of the game with, okay? First five, ten minutes, let's turn them. Enjoy it, no pressure on us, get the ball down, move it bloody quick. It won't get tired, the ball won't get tired, okay? Leave a chat before you go out, no, let's go. 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 This project wasn't done overnight, it was done over a period of maybe three or four years, and they worked behind the scenes to get the players up to a standard that, that would be beneficial to them to be in the League of Ireland. There's no point in being in it unless you can compete on a certain level. So all that was done over a three or four year period, culminating in this year where they felt that the children were a standard that they would benefit from it. What they were like when they came to us to where they are now, they're vastly different. Vastly, vastly different. They're all different stages, different levels, but they're all progressing at a level that's conducive to them carrying on to the under-17s next year. So we want to get a group of players who, that want to go on to play under-17s. We want them to get there, but we want them to enjoy the journey on their way. So we might, to some people, we might be a little bit more light-hearted towards it, but I promise you we're not. Well done, lads, good work. Listen to what Ben's saying. Regroup, Jack, regroup. Good lad. When I was playing football myself, football was 90% of it and 10% was off the pitch. Now it's the other way around. 90% of it is done off the pitch and it's all about the player welfare, the physical, mental, uh, emotional well-being. The actual training on the pitch is probably the 10% now. I want them to try to prolong their career at whatever level, even if they go back to playing junior football, I want them to prolong it and stay in football as long as they can because once you can't play anymore, that's a big, big void in your life to fill. I'm immensely proud of the way that the players have reacted to whatever result we have, whether we win, lose or draw. Yes, we all want to win, of course we do. It's not the main aim. The main aim is to learn something from that game and move on to the next thing.